If you're planning a migration from .NET Framework to .NET Core, you need to make sure that .NET Core supports all the APIs and types that you're currently using. Here's how. Hey everybody, it's Derek Martin from CodeOpinion.com. If you're new to my channel, I post videos about software architecture and design and .NET. I also do some live streaming on checking out various projects that kind of fit into those topics. So if you're interested, please subscribe. All right, so the primary tool you can use to figure out on whether your application will run on .NET Core is the .NET Portability Analyzer. So what this does is it analyzes your source code and compares it to what you are looking to target. So say .NET Core, .NET Standard. It checks all the APIs and types and checks to see if those are available or not available. And it basically gives you a percentage kind of summary on how like the how close you are to get being able to run on .NET Core or being compliant with .NET Standard. And then it as well as shows you the types that are missing from .NET Core that you may be using in .NET Framework. So the .NET Portability Analyzer, you can uh, there's docs on it on Microsoft site. I'll provide a link as well as to the GitHub uh, project itself. And there's two ways you can run this. You can run it um, as a like a console app command line, or if you're using Visual Studio, you can download the extension, the .NET Portability Analyzer extension. So that's what I'm gonna do to kind of show this off. It's a little bit simpler to kind of visualize here. So what I have in Visual Studio open is a older like sample app that I found called the Music Store. So this is using .NET Framework 4.6, I believe, and I'm um, using ASP uh, MVC, like the old classic version here, nothing using .NET Core, so this is old. So what you can do is, if in your solution you can click on Portability Analyzer Settings, and what this just brings up the settings, and what you can see is you can define target platforms. These target platforms are what you want to analyze against to see if your code base will be supported under these target platforms. So there's a pile of them, but the ones that you probably care about if you're trying to migrate to .NET Core are .NET Core itself. So you can select uh, which versions of .NET Core you want to target. This other one, .NET Core plus platform extensions. Platform extensions are the Windows compatibility pack, which is provided uh, via NuGet. So it kind of kind of bridges a little bit of a gap. And then you have .NET Standard all the way to 2.1, and then .NET Standard plus platform extensions. If you've seen in my prior video regarding if you're migrating to .NET Core specifically for ASP.NET Core, which in this example I'm talking about, um, you really actually, in my opinion, want to be targeting .NET uh, Core 2.1, which is .NET Standard 2.0. Uh, check out my other video on the reasons why. Um, but in this, we're, so that's why I'm targeting 2.1 and .NET Standard 2.0. So once you've done that and you've configured it, you can click, right click on the solution and then do Analyze Assembly Portability. This will build your project, run the analysis, and then it, you can open up this in Excel as which we configured here. And I'll make this bigger. So what you can see is we have our two projects. We're currently targeting .NET Framework 4.6.1 and our percentage on how much of our code base is compliant. So about 80% of it is compliant for .NET Framework and the platform extensions. And then just .NET Core specifically is the same amount, .NET Standard. And our test projects are a little bit more compliant. The reason being is if we click now on the Details tab, we can see all the uh, types that we're using that are not supported under each different platform. So as you may expect, anything under system.web is not supported. So these this bind attribute, it's not supported on .NET Core or any .NET standard or any um, platform um, extensions. So anything under system.web you can expect. Um, this component model we can see is supported in .NET Core 2.0 and higher, um, as well as .NET Standard 1.6 and higher. So this gives you a kind of a list of everything that you are using. As you start migrating over, maybe you um, 
uh, if you're migrating MVC to the ASP.NET Core MVC, just constantly rerun this and you'll see the various types that you're using that you need to migrate out of that are only supported in .NET Framework. So check out the portability analyzer. It may take you a little while to get used to it, but I can say with uh, from experience that it definitely helps. It's the easiest way to kind of see what parts of your application, what types that you're using that are never going to be supported in .NET Core, um, at least by officially by Microsoft. Having said that, there are some packages that you can find on NuGet that people have written to support .NET standard or have re-implemented some types that you can use as kind of drop-in replacements. So if you get kind of stuck, look to NuGet as well. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll post links in descriptions to the .NET Portability Analyzer as well as my own post, blog post, which kind of covers everything that I've talked about here as well as general migrating to .NET Core. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more software architecture related videos.